and some girls to new grass this morning. Let's open these gates up. We've had this fertilize this ryegrass and had them off of it for a few weeks now. Got some on the hill that are being stubborn. Seeing if I'm setting a trap. We got some that are willing to take the risk. watching cows turned in on fresh non pooped on non peed on grass I love it so it's March 14th this is the time of the year where it really helps to have some ryegrass planted and stashed up because it will You're welcome. Drastically reduce hay intake. When you're getting to that point of year to where you're wondering if you're gonna make it with hay or not, it's really nice to see some early 70 degree days in early in the year that is. So we're, we are like I said, March 14th and it's supposed to be 78 today, which we got a little bit of a cold front coming in. A cold front as in highs in the 50s. Um, but my dad has always said, and it has, I've always seen it ring true, that if you get consistent 40 degree nights, ryegrass will, it'll grow on concrete if it's got just a touch of soil on it. So we've had that, the 40 degree nights, and it's really starting to show up. We put some chicken litter. I think you saw us spreading some on this field. It's what we call the back 20. A couple weeks back and we've had them locked off. So they are enjoying the fresh grass, if you could only hear. I don't know what it is refreshing about listening to cows eat on fresh grass, but it should be one of those things that you play at night to try help you go to sleep. Instead of ocean waves, let's listen to cows eat fresh grass. Farmer edition. Some walking and breathing lawnmowers. The reason we're actually doing this is because I want to spread litter on the part of that pasture that I just took them off of. It's a lot easier to be able to open the gates and not have to get out and open and close them 
close the gates every time you pull in with a load. And so uh, it's a little early to put these cows on this grass, in my opinion, but I'm going to put them on it for probably a day or two, lock the gates off. That way we can, we can spread litter today. We've got rain coming in tomorrow, rain and thunderstorms. And I'll let them sit on this for a day or two and then take them back off. And a lot of times on grass like this, with the cows going across it, nibbling on it, it promotes growth. It'll, uh, it kicks that grass back in gear. We've got a good base of chicken litter on this grass with some, you know, fairly decent weather on the way. It's, it's going to be a little cooler, but it's still ryegrass weather. So we'll let them camp back out here a couple of days. We'll probably show you a little bit of the litter process. I've actually got Ben in a truck today, maybe. And uh, we'll just show you, show you kind of the process of what we're doing and turn it back out. But the, the boys and girls are really enjoying this in the meantime. Y'all hang with us. Also, guys, go uh, check out Psalm 1 this morning. Psalm 1, 1 through 6. It's a great read, quick read. It's a good refresher. Go check it out. It's one of my favorite spots. My grandparents' land. Cool little creek. in the field because around the farm I would say it's half of our equipment the fuel gauge actually works maybe a little more than that but this one you just have to open it up take a look at it we're good for a little while though We're out in one of our rented pastures spreading this litter. I feel like every time we do a video, we're like trying to beat the rain. We're spreading litter today. It's 
It's supposed to hit 78 degrees today in Alabama. And then we've got thunderstorms coming in tomorrow and it's gonna cool back off. But we're getting ready to stockpile some sawdust in our barns because we're gonna clean out and soon to be done with chickens. I just got mine back, Eric's come back tomorrow. Um, so we need some room while we've got good weather and the pastures driving them right now. So we're spending the day spreading some litter. Eric actually had to cut off just a minute to go put some PLT in his chicken houses. These are the heifers that we bred. Still need to get them up and ultrasound them, but you know how it is. You get stuff on the to-do list. To-do list is a mile long, but glad to see the sunshine and this green grass. So this is one of the pastures here that we spread some litter on yesterday. You can see we've gotten a good bit of rain. The rain came in this morning. We were getting Eric's chickens back and we almost got done the last house. Uh, we actually dumped them in the rain, which we're inside the chicken houses. So we didn't get wet, but the birds got a little bit wet. But we got them all in. Um, we weaned some calves out of this group it's been a couple days now and so when we did that we locked them off this section here eric spread some litter here and then there's another part over that way that i spread some litter on uh we've covered a couple other different pastures so we got all of our crusting out of the barns got it opened up so we'll be ready for some sawdust uh, i'm just going through and turning the cows back out in these areas Open it up. You can see, hard to tell, there's some of the chicken litter, but there's a lot of weeds in here too. It won't be too awful long. We'll be spraying, trying to knock some of these weeds back. Hopefully this grass is gonna kick it into high gear here soon. Next week's not gonna have quite as many warm days as this week did, but. Girls, y'all get a bath? I think we're looking at low 60s next week, whereas uh, yesterday was 78 here. What you been getting into, boy? <laughs> it's nice to walk through the pasture and see all the calves tagged. So we've started using blue tags on our steers and either pink or purple on the heifers. So now you can just look. There's a heifer, there's a steer. More steers, some more steers, and a heifer back there. So it's nice come when we're getting close to weaning, we can kind of go through and be like, all right, we got about five heifers that need weaning, three steers without looking extra close. If their ear takes stay in, but usually they do.
This is our back 20. And Eric was spreading litter on the front side, so we locked the cows back here on this ryegrass. I'm gonna open this back up and let them back in. Just makes it a lot easier because we can leave the gate at the road open while we're spreading litter if the cows are all locked back here. there's more than two cows and two cats. There we go. So what I'm probably gonna do is just leave the gate open so they can come back here, still munch on this, but they can also get back to the other part. There's not as much water on this back 20, so we don't leave them locked back here too long. Ooh. Got all the cows back situated how they need to be. The sun's actually popped up. I thought it was supposed to rain all day today. I think there's still a chance of some more rain later on. But we got a good little shower this morning. Thundered a little bit. We'll ride out, check on the hay field real quick before we wrap this video up. See how it's looking. Right now it's the middle of March. And I think last year, about the middle of April, we were cutting hay. So we might be about a month out. We didn't get chicken litter spread on every bit of the hay field. A majority of it got spread on. Some of it's a little steep. And so it has to be really dry this time of year to be able to drive on it. I know it had some spread right in here. You can definitely tell. videos for y'all but thank y'all for watching our video hope y'all enjoyed it it's just a quick little video spread some chicken litter um, we're also working on a video talking about how Eric and I got into the chicken business as far as borrowing money um, you know things to look for any tips we have uh, so look for that video coming soon um, we're hopefully gonna work on it here in the next couple days maybe we'll have it out this weekend if not it should be out sometime next week Y'all have a good weekend. Thank y'all for watching. You see it spread? What does chicken litter do?